Sunday. I'm so excited for this video because we are having just a chill self-care Sunday. I have been craving one of these days of, you know, getting my life in order, doing things like that, but also just spending some time to fill my soul and take care of my body and just have a really restful and slow Sunday. And so I'm really looking forward to it. We have church this morning, so that's really the one thing on the agenda. But besides that, I just made a list of a bunch of things I want to get done, like doing some grocery shopping, a little bit of meal planning, catch up on some work, and then of course do some self-care in terms of taking care of my body. I want to take a bath tonight and just have a really you know restful Sunday to prep for the week. I've just really been craving one of these days and so I'm really, really excited. But I wanted to start off with some skincare this morning, have a little skincare session and share some of the products I have been particularly loving from Trilogy. And I'm so thankful to be partnering with Trilogy because if you guys have been over here over the course of the past couple months, I've talked about them so much because they've been a game changer for my skin, especially as I've been trying to be more mindful about using more clean skincare, clean beauty. And Trilogy is a clean skincare brand that is actually from New Zealand, which is super cool i've been using a few other products but the one that has been my ultimate favorite is the vitamin c booster treatment and that's because this actually comes with the vitamin c powder that you put into the bottle it's so cool i'll insert a little demo of how to do it but it activates a six percent vitamin c powder into a hyaluronic acid based serum and that helps give you just the most potent form of vitamin c and this has been so helpful for fading dark spots and just acne scars on my face i have shared my journey about just dealing with acne after getting off the pill and i have you know quite a few spots still but this is so much better than it was you know a couple months before I actually use this product this is actually my second bottle because I love it if you're someone who struggles with dark spots I think that this is just such a great product to try and also I do have a code with them too you guys can use my code michelle20 that'll get you 20% off your trilogy order I'll also have a link at the top of the description box if you guys want to check them out and then a few times a week I also really like using the rosehip oil antioxidant plus there are so many different rosehip oils out there but this one is special because it is an exclusive to trilogy oil blend called rosepine and that consists of certified organic rosehip oil with some added antioxidants which are just helpful for your skin helps brighten reduce fine lines and also just to firm up your skin as well yeah again you guys can use my code michelle 20 to get 20 percent off your trilogy order i will have a link down below such a big fan and also just such a big fan of switching to more clean skincare i wanted to spend some time journaling this morning i do usually read my devotional in the morning too but we are going to church this morning and so not that you can't read your devotional even when you're going to church but i am going to be reading lots of scripture and just enjoying the service and everything it has to offer and so I, this morning, I'm gonna do some of my little day-by-day -day journal. This is from Jess here on YouTube and Instagram. I've been loving this. It's so much fun. It has a bunch of just different little prompts to fill out and they're very lighthearted. Some of them I think are a little bit deeper, but I've been trying to fill out a page here and there and it's just really fun too. It also has some of these little coloring pages too. And I really, really like it. Like this one says self checking in the heart. It's just a nice way to relax and do something that's a little bit more simple, but it's it's really fun too and just a very thoughtful way to go about your day so i'll have this link down below if you're interested i'm trying to incorporate more things into my routine that don't necessarily have a direct benefit in the moment but are just lighthearted and fun for me to do and this is definitely one of those things for me and so i'm excited to do a little page in there it's always fun to skipping through and seeing which one i want to do it's just a fun experience i've also been loving our little nook i can't remember which order i've done these videos but we recently put together this space and i love it and i also love the fact that this bird of paradise is thriving in this spot this spot gets the perfect amount of sunlight for it and so i'm excited to see this just continue to grow and hopefully bloom some flowers too because i know that they do bloom some really pretty white flowers too I'm getting 
ready to take cash for his morning walk, but I wanted to share this story because I recently got some new running shoes. These are my shoes that I wear all the time. These are from Brooks. I've had these for years, but the tread is so worn on them. And so I went to grab another pair of running shoes and I've always wanted to get specifically fitted for shoes. And so I went to this whole new store. They scanned my foot. It was this whole thing. It was a decent drive away to got fitted and everything. And I actually requested to get a different color. And I ended up getting basically the same shoes that I had before. They're still Brooks. I think that they're really pretty, but just nice fresh running shoes. Was really excited to wear them. And I got home and realized that they gave me the wrong size of a seven and a half and these are an eight and a half. So I was really bummed yesterday when I got home, but no big deal, I'll just go back to the running store. I just thought that was funny. the fit for church i'm wearing this dress that is from my newly i really like the velvet texture it's kind of getting christmas a little bit but i still like it i think it's cute i just threw a tank top on underneath because it's pretty low cut and then i just threw on these boots that are from target we are so. going to later church today we usually go at nine o'clock but we're going to the 11 o'clock because we got back late last night from hanging out with family which is totally fine i think right after church then we we're just gonna go grab groceries i made a list on my phone of some things for the week i feel like i have haven't gotten in a groove with grocery shopping we've just been picking up things here and there and so i need to reset in terms of doing like a big grocery shop at once i want to grab some stuff to do some meal prepping and then also make a new dinner tonight so i'm really excited i've been into making muffins for breakfast and so i'm going to try a new recipe which i'm really looking forward to and i also want to try to make some homemade egg bites just to have better protein in the morning i've never made those before but they sound good so let's head off to church and then grab some groceries Sprouts just because it was closer and Sprouts I think is my favorite because it's just very quaint and wholesome But I really like their stuff. I don't feel as overwhelmed in Sprouts versus Whole Foods So I'll share everything that I got like I mentioned I feel like I've had so many grocery hauls lately because I've just been getting bits here and there and even this one isn't huge It's just kind of a few things we needed for the week and for recipes But I need to get back on track of just shopping for the week and really stocking up instead of doing all these mini trips because they definitely add up Firstly, we got some salad I do want to try to make some this week, but I don't know if that's gonna happen earlier or later in the week So I just wanted to have some on hand got a lot of produce for those egg bites that I want to make and then we ran out of almond milk I really like this three trees brand I also really like the malt brand too because they don't have a ton of like added ingredients in them This is something I'm excited for because I remember Chris and John's mentioning that if you switch your vanilla to vanilla bean paste Whenever you're baking recipes that it has much more flavor and I actually found some at sprouts I've always checked different grocery stores when I go and they actually had one so we're gonna try that today when I make the muffins got some raspberries for some breakfast muffins I'm gonna make that are like chocolate raspberry that sound really good grab some Celsius these are for Aiden he really likes those so wanted to have a few of those these late July tortilla chips are the best and they happen to have those at sprout I got some almond flour for the muffins that I want to make a couple things of deli meat those are just for lunches to have I like to have those for just a quick little snack dark chocolate chips those are for the recipe that I'm gonna do and then just a bunch of produce to have throughout the week we got some grapefruit which I've really been into peppers things for baking and everything I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then I think we're gonna take cash for a nice long walk too just because it's pretty nice outside it's only like 60 degrees so i'm going to change out of the stress get comfy and get some sunshine just changed for a walk and I wanted to share these pants because I know that these are not going to be everyone's cup of tea because they're very unique but I found them yesterday I went to the mall and I was shopping around free people and they are so comfortable they're these just 
kind of baggier, lightweight jeans, and they're a little bit more low rise, which typically I don't go for, but I don't know what it is about these. I just think that they're so cute and comfortable for spring. They're definitely like funky in the front with the pockets, but I don't know what it was about these. I just thought that they were really cute and comfortable. And then at the bottom, they just tie. I don't know what it is about these, but they're so cute. They come in a bunch of different colors, so I'll link these. I'm wearing a size 26. I feel like it fits me perfectly as like a low rise length. I'll probably throw on a little sweatshirt too, just cause it is a little bit chilly outside, but I really like them. I think that they're very fun and different. And I feel like right now I'm not sure what my exact style is. So I'm just trying to buy things if I like them, try them out. And I really like these. I think that they're fun and different and not everything has to be super trendy and whatever all the time. I really like these, but we're gonna go ahead and take cash for his walk and enjoy this beautiful day. I'm gonna get started now on doing some meal prep. Like I mentioned, I wanna try to make some kind of at home. They're like the egg bites that you get at Starbucks essentially, but you make them from home because I've always liked those, but been a little bit unsure about what exactly is in them. So I've always wanted to try some from home. So we're gonna do that and then also make some kind of like healthier chocolate raspberry muffins. I've been liking having things meal prep for breakfast as I've just been working in the morning and not wanting to make breakfast early in the morning and it just makes it easier because I do try to eat whenever I have my caffeine to just grab something already and so we're gonna go ahead and make both of these I also just opened up the balcony doors it's so nice outside I probably could have gone outside with just a short sleeve it feels so so nice outside so I'm gonna have a little baking and cooking session half the reason why I've been wanting to make these little egg bites is because my mom actually got us this giant thing of eggs from Costco which was so sweet because eggs are just really expensive right now and so we have an abundance of eggs i also have our little container that we keep them in which by the way this is from anthropology i really like that container it's just a cute way to display your eggs but i have plenty to work with so we're gonna use these i'll also link these muffin liners down below i don't know what it is about them they're just super cute i got them from amazon i found them from chris and john she had linked them and they're just so cute for making muffins or anything tried the chocolate muffins and they're so good. They're so moist, I think, from the pumpkin that's in them. So those turned out great. And then the egg ones are currently baking. So I'll give you guys an update on that. But now it's about 4.15 and I'm actually gonna catch up on some work. I don't always like to work on Sundays. I do think it's nice to take the day off. But yesterday I definitely took some time just to take a little bit of a break. Today is my day just to catch up. I'm also working on some things besides videos and just tax stuff. And March, I think, is gonna be a bit of a busier month and so I just want to catch up on everything this week. I know it's still February right now but my mind is already thinking about March and spring videos and all that and I just have some stuff that I want to catch up on. Sometimes doing this on Sunday is really helpful for me just to feel on top of everything during the week. I think everyone's different. Some people like to totally chill on Sundays and we're watching 1923 right now and a new episode came out so we're gonna watch that tonight but until then I just want to catch up on some work and 
feel good for the week ahead. bites out of the oven and they definitely don't look super cute but they taste so much better than the starbucks ones i love this recipe also just super easy besides the chopping that's the only thing that really took a lot of time but these are gonna be so nice to have for lunches so i would definitely recommend doing these too longer than I anticipated. I feel like between that and the meal prepping that was most of my time this afternoon. So I haven't really had a ton of time to clean. I don't absolutely need to clean today. I'll probably just end up running the vacuum or something. I did just throw our sheets in the wash. So I'm gonna try to wash those before we go to bed to put some fresh sheets on because I do really love doing that on Sundays. It's like a Sunday ritual that always pretty much happens. Every now and then I'll do it on a different day, but I'm really excited because I'm about to take a nice bath. I'm gonna cook dinner here in a little bit, but I actually want to get unready before I cook dinner. Yesterday was so much fun because I ended up going to the mall and I don't really do that too often where I just go to the mall and aimlessly walk around and shop. For one, because I don't usually want to spend money on things that I don't need, but I did stop into Lush and I grabbed a couple of things I really wanted to use in the bath. And I think that this is the one I'm gonna use tonight. This is one of their bubble bars. It's the sleep one and it smells just so amazing. And I used to use Lush stuff all the time back when I was in high school. And so it always brings me back to them. And then I also got a couple of these bath bombs which I thought were really pretty. They have some really beautiful little rose petals in them. I don't usually take baths all that often, but lately I feel like I've been doing them like once a week. They're really nice just to light a candle, read my book. Right now I am reading a Chris and Hannah book. This one is called True Colors and it's not my favorite. I feel like it's taking me a while to get through it, but I do enjoy it. It's entertaining. So I'm gonna read this in the bath and just unwind. I am feeling just a little bit stressed for the week ahead, not in a way of feeling super anxious or anything, but definitely have a lot on my plate and I wanna get a lot done this week because you we do have some more travels in March and I just wanna get ahead. I feel a little bit behind, but I want this week to be productive. But I know if I don't prioritize stuff like this of just kind of resting, unwinding, that's when I start feeling burnout and all those things that are not great. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some time and just take a bath and do a little bit of self-care. I'm also throwing on some of these eye gels. I feel like I never use these, but I always see people using them and they just look so fun. They're definitely more of a morning thing. I don't think people really use them in the evening, but I just popped these in the fridge this morning. So they're all nice and cold. So we're gonna put these on, romanticize our bath time. And now I'm just making a quick dinner for us. I'm just gonna do some air fryer chicken thighs. I basically just do chicken thighs with salt and pepper on them, air fry them, and then I'll also usually cover them in like barbecue sauce or teriyaki sauce, something really, really simple. Also with a big salad. And I was debating doing roasted sweet potatoes because we do have sweet potatoes, but I also forgot that I got this cornbread today at Sprout. So I'm thinking that I might just stick some cornbread with it, do something pretty simple tonight. Good boy. 
it. Like he's adding yeah, yeah. some value. <laughs> no, not yet. Dinner was really great tonight. I ended up doing a recipe that was like a garlic honey sauce because I actually didn't have barbecue sauce and it was so good. So I'll link that down below. Just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. And of course, if you guys want to check out Trilogy, again, you can use my code Michelle20 to get 20% off your order. I'll have that linked at the top of the description box. I feel very rested and recharged for the week and I'm really grateful for that. But I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.